Now this following one will be a lot of names because we were fortunate to be able to fund a, uh, a lot of various students for the Spark Summer Study Grants. The Spark Summer Study Grants support music students for summer study at music festivals, young artist training programs, etc., cetera, et cetera. The undergraduate uh, grant awardees, Nicole Bedoya, Abby Brewer, Helen Campbell, Tiarika Green, pardon any pronunciations, Ian Hall, Zachary Hazlett, Andrew Hebert, Julia Jacobson, Jariz Male Brera Ortiz, Taylor McCullough, Carrie McCourt, Margaret Moore, Olivia Norton, Galilea Ramos, Breonna Robinson, Chase Sawyer, Ian Schwalbe, Bryson Stratton, Vivian Stringfellow, Hallie Tam, Kate Wages, and Zachary Ward. Congratulations, undergrads. Thank you. 
graduate awardees of the Summer Study Grant, James Allen, Juan Beltran, Victoria Broder, Nico Caruso, Andrew Connolly, Brian Fenderson, Blake Fowler, Rachel Gibbons, Mingzi Hu, Jordan Kerrigan, Andrew Kevick, Christine Powell, Alyssa Santibanez, Justin Schwartz, Hunter Thompson, Jenna Thompson, Allison Yablonski, Ruxi Wang, and Sydney Washington. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. I'm now handing over the mic to my colleague, Dr. Tina Stallard. Good afternoon. I would first like, on a personal note, just to thank each of the students and my wonderful colleagues who were involved in a beautiful and poignant uh, performance of the Brahms Requiem last evening. So I'd like to thank each of you for your participation in that. It's now my pleasure to recognize those who received international travel grants this year. There were a number of excellent proposals and the selection process was difficult. Thanks to all of you who applied and to the faculty who wrote reference letters. Uh, I will ask that each uh, person please stand up and remain standing until we've read all of the names and then we'll, we will recognize all of them at once. Our first prize recipients were Olivia Norton, Jordan Brooks, Kate Wages, and Julia Jacobson. Second prize, Sybil Kraft, Rushi Wang, Juarez Mayabrera Ortiz. And third prize, Taylor McCullough, Victoria Broder, Sydney Washington, Chase Sawyer, and Andrew Kevick. Let's congratulate these two. <laughs> and now to recognize those completing the performance certificate. The performance certificate is awarded by the School of Music to recognize those undergraduate music students with degree emphases other than music performance as well as musically talented students who major in other disciplines. The performance certificate allows gifted and highly motivated students to acquire additional credit, professorial interaction, and guidance. And again, we'll ask that these students please stand and remain standing until the end. Henry Baker, Amelia Bailey, Christina Brown, Matthew Chestnut, Emma Devine, Alex Doolittle, Bennett Donovan, William Edwards, Eric Gardner, Andre Lim, Emma Mason, Lindsay Ann McCall, Carrie McCourt, Titus McCutcheon, Gabriel Sullivan, Karishma Tondam, and John White. Please recognize these students. <laughs> students may be student teaching today and unable to be here. I got, a, I got a yes from Dr. Valerio. And finally, awards presented by the National Office of Sigma Alpha Iota. There are two awards. The first is the Sigma Alpha Iota Scholastic Award. It is given to the graduating senior SAI member with the highest grade point average. And this year, that award goes to Karishma Tandon. <laughs> given to the member who has made significant contributions to her chapter and the School of Music. This recognizes an SAI member who has demonstrated outstanding musicianship, scholarship, and service to the local chapter. And this year, the award goes to Kate Wages.
Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mr. Jeremy Polly, the director of the Music Industry Studies Program, and I'm excited to announce that for the first time, we are going to be offering two awards for Music Industry Studies students. The first award is the American Musical Supply Outstanding Music Industry Student Award. The AMS Outstanding Music Industry Student Award recognizes a student graduating with the Bachelor of Science in Music Industry Studies who has shown dedication to and engagement with the Music Industry Studies program and the industry at large. And our first winner will be Megan Galley. And yes, that is a guitar, that is a baby tailor, which is a gift from AMS uh, to award her for the work she's done. The Music Industry Studies Squiggy DiGiacomo Award. The MIS Squiggy Award recognizes a student graduating with Music Industry Studies minor that exemplifies the grit, determination, and tenacity of its namesake, Mark Squiggy DiGiacomo. Squiggy has been a vital partner for the Music Industry Studies program since its inception, connecting the University of South Carolina students to valuable career resources and opportunities. And the first winner of that award is Jamison Cooper. Next up will be Dr. Kuni O'Hara. Good afternoon. I have a pleasure of introducing two winners of the Ladair Robinson Award for Academic Excellence. The Ladair Robinson Award for Academic Excellence is awarded to one undergraduate and one graduate music majors who demonstrate outstanding ability in the area of music history and or theory. This award will be given to the student who demonstrates great interest in the personal, political, and cultural history in which music exists, and also an interest in understanding the personal languages of musical expression. The student will have the ability to synthesize this knowledge into intelligent, informed classwork, research projects, and or performance. I have a great, great pleasure of awarding this um, Ladier Robinson Undergraduate Award for Academic Excellence to Emma Schwertfeuer. And for the Ladere Robinson Graduate Award for Academic Excellence, this award goes to Austin Davis. Thank you. I would like to introduce Professor Jacob Will. Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, my pleasure to uh, award the following, the Cello Fund, the Christopher Berg Award, the Composition, and the Collaborative Piano Awards. The Cello Fund was created by former students and friends of the USC Cello Program, honoring Bob Jesselson's 39 years of cello instruction. The fund is used to assist USC cello students in furthering their studies. The selection is made annually by the cello professor and the dean based on the student's creativity, progress, initiative, and or for a specific project. This year's award winners are Helen Campbell and Zach Ward.
Christopher Berg Guitar Award is significant because the fund that makes it possible was created by former students of Christopher Berg. This award is given annually to honor the undergraduate classical guitar student best exhibiting qualities of creativity, humility, perseverance, and improvement in their study of the guitar and musical performance. This year's winner is Will Flowers. <laughs> Lucretia Hare Award for Composition is awarded to an outstanding composition student for best achievement in writing original music. This year's winner, Chu Peng Kao. Undergraduate Collaborative Piano Award is awarded to one undergraduate piano major who demonstrates outstanding ability in the area of instrumental and vocal collaboration in the studio. This award will be given to the student who demonstrates great interest in the repertoire of other instruments and the voice. This student has strived towards developing and refining skills necessary for collaboration, such as the ability to lead, listen, and respond, provide musical cues, and communicate well with others. Efforts at collaboration have been demonstrated in both the studio and performance situations. Will Bird is this year's recipient. Collaborative Piano Award. It's given to a graduate piano major who demonstrates outstanding ability in the area of instrumental and vocal collaboration in the studio. This award will be given to the student who demonstrates great interest in the repertoire of other instruments and the voice. The student has strived towards developing and refining skills necessary for collaboration such as the ability to lead and respond, provide musical cues, and communicate well with others. Efforts at collaboration have been demonstrated in both the studio and performance situations. This year's award winner is Nathan Vondergee. <laughs> probably out accompanying something. So. <laughs> Can't, couldn't be with us today. Uh, the final award that I will uh, be giving is the Ensemble Accompanying Award, and it is given to an undergraduate or graduate piano major who demonstrates outstanding ability in the area of collaboration with a major ensemble. This award will be given to the student who demonstrates great interest in working within a larger ensemble and has exhibited the ability to effectively follow a conductor. The student has demonstrated the listening and communication skills necessary to function easily and effectively in both rehearsal and performance situations. And this year's recipient is Joshua Painter. <laughs> Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, and I'm presenting behalf today on behalf of Dr. Brigida Johnson. The USC School of Music Social Justice Awards were established in 2020 by the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee 
to recognize students who serve as an example to others through a commitment to diversity and social justice beyond the scope of their student responsibilities. These activities can include community engagement in diversity and equity dialogue, education and programming, and implemented projects and research or initiatives that foster diversity, inclusive access, and social justice. Our first student awardee is Justin Schwartz. Justin is a master's student in composition and is being recognized for his work as a composer and educator who addresses neurodiversity and mental health issues in the music fields and the broader community. By helping to organize events such as the hashtag stigma free at USC concert and a panel discussion last October and working with the nonprofit Columbia based group Classical Healing Keys, the committee as well as his nominator John Fitz Rogers felt that he truly represents the spirit of the Social Justice Award. Justin, you want to come up please? <laughs> student awardee is Kenneth Green II, a doctoral student in band conducting. Kenneth Green II is being recognized for his research on the compositional contributions of New Orleans native Roger Dickerson. His DMA document on Dickerson is among the first works to amplify the significance of this mid-20th century African-American composer educator who taught trailblazing musician composer Terence Blanchard, among others. Kenneth has also served the School of Music as the graduate student representative on the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee this year. The committee, as well as his nominator, Cormac Cannon, felt that he truly represents the spirit of the Social Justice Award. Kenneth? Pi Kappa Lambda is an American honor society for undergraduate students, graduate students, and professors of music. There are other 200 chapters nationwide. I'm going to recognize four students who have qualified for Pi Kappa Lambda membership here in the School of Music. I ask that they stand and that we hold our applause until they've all stood. The first is Olivia Colomayo, Duke Kennedy, Cosetta Rigi, and Elizabeth Sutherland. Please congratulate these students for getting into Pi Kappa Lambda. The School of Music awards four what we call special student awards that were rec actually it's five now, isn't it? It's five that were recognized yesterday on the horseshoe um, at the University Awards Day, and they're also recognized here at the School of Music Awards Day, where we have done this for many years. The first is the name of Arthur M. Frazier, who's a former chair of the Department of Music here at Carolina. It's presented to the most outstanding graduated senior in the Bachelor of Arts in Music or the Bachelor of Music programs with an emphasis in performance, theory, or composition. The award is given in memory of Dr. Arthur Frazier, chair of the Department of Music from 1963 to 1972, whose numerous contributions to music in our state, including the founding of the South Carolina Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm proud to present the 2024 Arthur M. Frazier Award to Anna Clausley. Van Doren Award is presented to the most outstanding graduating senior in the Bachelor of Music program with an emphasis in music education. 
The award is given in honor of Dr. Van Doren, who served as professor of organ and coordinator of music education in the School of Music at USC from 1946 to 1978. And he used to sit right there for concerts until the age of 100. Anyway, I'm really proud to award the 2024 Robert Van Doring Award to Christina Chanel Brown. Prusen Music Leadership Award is given to the senior music major who has demonstrated the most outstanding leadership skills in service teaching, academic studies, and or music performance. It gives me great pride to present the 2024 Robert Prusen Music Leadership Award to Carrie McCourt. Award for Excellence is presented to a rising senior music major who best exemplifies excellence in scholarship as measured by GPA, musicianship as measured by significant contributions to USC music ensembles and performances, and service as measured by participation in school, university, or civic organizations. I'm proud to present the 2024 Canty Award for Excellence to Aaron Jean Neely. Presser, the founder of the Presser Foundation, had a passion for music education. The music publisher began his career as a music educator. When he created the foundation, he committed to music education and music philanthropy. The Presser Foundation has long supported music majors at institutions of higher ed. While the Scholar Awards program has evolved over the years, its focus of serving students has not changed. With that focus in mind and based on the foundation's commitment, to Centering Equity, the Scholar Award Committee has realigned the Undergraduate Scholars Award Program for the Presser Foundation. The Presser Scholar Award celebrates a student who's achieved a high level of musical and academic excellence and exemplified diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice values. To be eligible, the nominated student must be currently enrolled as a full-time or part-time undergraduate music major at the end of their final year of study. I am delighted to award the 2024 Presser Scholar Award to Karishma Tondon. time we're delighted to have learned just in the last couple of hours before this ceremony that some several students won awards on the horseshoe yesterday that are musicians but they weren't school of music awards they're university awards and we decided basically Margie Ziegler decided and the rest of us said okay that we would recognize those three students today and I'm delighted to do this so bear with me while I ask these three students to stand and then let's recognize them with our applause at the end. USC's Outstanding Senior and President's Award. Students who received the university's Outstanding Senior Award have demonstrated major achievement in the categories of service, leadership, academics, and research. Selection for the President's Award is based on academic accomplishments, leadership achievements, co-curricular involvement, 
and service to the Carolina community. Recipients have demonstrated major achievement in the categories of service, leadership, academics, and research. I think I just said that. <laughs> Students chosen to receive this honor are among the university's most exceptional graduating seniors. We know this to be true. Please, let's recognize Duke Kennedy. I just broke my own rule, so we're going to recognize everybody as they stand. <laughs> we have a Phi Beta Kappa Freshman Award winner in the School of Music. Each year, the Alpha Chapter of Beta Ka Phi Beta Kappa recognizes students who are pursuing a liberal arts major, achieving a 4.0 GPA, and earning the largest number of hours during their freshman year. Our Phi Beta Kappa Freshman Award for the university is musician Madeline Faya. The Lauren E. Brubaker Carolinian Award. The Lauren E. Brubaker Carolinian Award recognizes an undergraduate or graduate student who best exemplifies one or more qualities of the Carolinian creed. It is given in memory of Dr. Lauren E. Brubaker, former chair of the Department of Religious Studies and University Chaplain from 1949 to 1994, and, and who embodied these qualities in his work on campus for many years. I'm delighted to present or to recognize for the Lauren E. Brubaker Carolinian Award, Nicole Moore. <laughs> now we have some faculty and staff to award as well. I appreciate students sitting patiently through uh, all the fun times, and now I really appreciate you sitting carefully and quietly through this, but these are very important to all of us. Um, we have amongst our um, School of Music family the Academic Advisor of the Year Award winner, the USC Institutional Academic Advising Award for Commitment to Advising Excellence was presented at the 11th Annual USC System Advisors Conference on February 16, 2024. For the Commitment to Advising Excellence Award recognizes an advisor who has positively contributed to the success of their students, department, college, and the institution. Award winners have a demonstrated commitment to advising excellence through their advising practice and participation in professional development. Please help me recognize the winner of the Academic Advisor Award for 2024, Jillian Bigany. Uh, we have a 2024 Garnet Apple Award for Teaching winner in the School of Music as well. This annual award honors the University of South Carolina's exceptional faculty who demonstrate a commitment to best teaching practices and an ongoing record of developing innovative strategies to enhance student learning in their courses. Sarah is one of five recipients to receive this year's award, and we couldn't be prouder of Sarah Williams. Sarah. recognizes faculty and staff who in 2023 reached the 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 year milestones in their careers with the university. Don't laugh, we had a 50 year winner in the school just a couple of years ago. <laughs> I'm sorry? Somebody's. Okay. Ten-year milestones are recognized at the department level, while the others will be recognized with a ceremony at the Russell House Ballroom. 
We have a 10-year winner, and it is Cooney O'Hara. Cooney O'Hara. <laughs> Dr. Kuni O'Hara has just received a prestigious National Endowment for the Humanities Summer Stipend Grant for his project on Puccini's opera Madame Butterfly, 1941 to 2023, that we saw publicized all semester with the work he did with students. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very big deal, and we're really honored to have yet another NEH Summer Stipend Grant winner. Please congratulate Dr. O'Hara. Yeah, I see I went out of order. Sorry about that. Um, this next award should really be the last one. Um, I'll have a few things to say when it's over. But this is an award elected by the faculty each year. It's called the Canty Outstanding Faculty Award, presented to a faculty member who's demonstrated exemplary dedication to the School of Music in the areas of teaching, performance, scholarship, or service. And the 2024 winner of the Canty Faculty Award is Tina Stallard. close the program, I want to make three quick announcements that are very important. Um, Ashley Emerson has been the assistant director of SPARC for this year and of course a member of our voice faculty. Ashley is stepping away from the SPARC position this summer, but gratefully she's going to remain on the voice faculty. Um, you won't find a slide on these because I'm throwing these in at the last minute. So Ashley, thank you for your service. After four years of being an unbelievably great theory faculty member at the University of South Carolina School of Music, we bid farewell to Bruno Acalda, who is headed for Greener Pastures in Richmond, Virginia, my hometown, and I'll be after you, so don't forget it. <laughs> anyway, please join me in thanking and congratulating one of our really terrific faculty members, Bruno Acalda. So when I came here as dean in 2005, I asked my predecessor, who I knew very well, who's now retiring as dean at Eastman, Jay Mulrossi, where I should live, where I should move in with my family. I had two kids in college, three were in, in middle school and younger. And he said, do you want to be in a good public school music program? And I said, that's absolutely essential. He said, well, then you move into Northeast Columbia. So we moved into Northeast Columbia specifically so we could be in the district for this middle school band teacher. My son did one year of school with him as middle school and then he moved to the high school where we were lucky to send all three of our kids to be in his band in high school. I think very highly of him as a public school music educator, certainly one of the best I've ever known. Two years ago we had an emergency in the trumpet studio. He's a very fine trumpet player and I asked him if he would come teach trumpet for us applied for the remainder of that semester. Two and a half years later, he has been devoted as the trumpet professor at the school, and I'm deeply grateful. David Allison, thank you so much. Can we recognize David Allison? <laughs>
Okay, now that I've pulled it all together here. There's a lot of people to thank. You see them all on the screen here. I want to especially mention Jillian, who we couldn't do any like anything like this without. So please, again, help me recognize Jillian Bigany for her help. And the center of all things awards at the School of Music is responsible for everything good that happens on this day, Margie Ziegler. Stand up. Okay, we're supposed to sing, but I'm not leading this, so one of you singers come up here and lead this, please. Or maybe all three of you that are singers over there, come on up. Please stand. Thank you for coming, everyone.